Tonight here at 5 o'clock, a big announcement from Kentucky's governor as the state is working to get everybody vaccinated for the virus. Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. Starting on Monday, all Kentuckians 16 years old and older are going to be able to sign up for a COVID vaccine. This is a good day. It means that we will beat uh, the president's request uh, by a month to have it opened up to everyone. Governor Andy Bashir there at four o'clock saying they decided to open up eligibility to everybody because other states are seeing an increase in cases right now and younger people and there are now more open appointments. And then coming up on Monday, April 12th, anybody age 16 or older can make an appointment to get a vaccine in Kentucky. And that's also when U of L Health is going to be operating this brand new mass vaccination site so familiar to everybody in Louisville, the Cardinal Football Stadium. Rose McBride tells us how this new site is going to help Louisville one step get one step closer to normal for the summertime. This past year we've all been running a marathon, but the good news is we're nearing the end. We do see this as really that big final push, um, kind of the sprint to the finish as far as some of the vaccination efforts in the city. The sprint begins April 12th when U of L Health will open the state's largest vaccination site yet in the purple parking lot at Cardinal Stadium. Anyone 16 and up can get a vaccine there until May 28th. This site, which will give 24,000 vaccines a week, plus the other sites administering vaccines, will put Louisville in a good position as we head into the summer. My guess is that we could probably be in the you know, 60 to 70 percent of the city vaccinated by the end of May if we're lucky. The opening of the site at Cardinal Stadium coincides with the closure of Luvax at Broadbent Arena. I think the fact that we were able to stand this up and have this be such a large site uh, gave them the opportunity to begin to use some of the resources they have at Broadbent for other purposes. Uval Health didn't have any part in the decision to close Luvax, but now that the hospital is opening up this new mass vaccination site, Metro Health and Wellness will be able to begin its mobile clinics, meeting people in their own communities. Not only is this new site and new timeline for a citywide vaccination a positive for Louisville, it's also a celebration for the healthcare professionals who've been working so hard this past year. This really feels like you're making a true impact in stopping this as opposed to just reacting to the virus, which is what we've been doing for so long. Signups for the site here at Cardinal Stadium opens this morning. We'll have a link to how you can sign up on our website. For WHS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride.